Okay, I'm gonna take this in one take so I don't have to do it again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of insane. I'm gonna explain to you why I've been MIA for the last week, almost two weeks. You guys, I am such a bad storyteller, so I just hope this goes fine. So let's get started. Okay, this started back a week ago when I was going to Florida. So I had everything planned, you know, I've been stressed out about it because I paid for it my whole self. I did not like ask my partner to help pay for me. Usually he does because when I was working my part-time job, I really didn't have enough to pay for everything. But now that I have two jobs, I'm able to afford this whole trip by myself. And because I love Harry Potter and going to Universal, my boyfriend really doesn't care for that. So I was just like, you're not gonna pay for it. I'm gonna pay for everything. I want it to go my way basically long story short that's what happened um so we had our friends that's a couple they met us at the airport and we picked them up we drove from michigan to florida it's about 18 hours and my boyfriend and i drive to florida about two times a year and it's it's a long hike but we are veterans when it comes to driving so so we met them at the airport picked them up and it was all fine so the first like official night we stayed at Hilton and I think it was really nice the beds were nice blah, blah blah whatever so the next day we got up got ready we were gonna go to the early admissions for Wizarding World of Harry Potter which is Universal because that second day like our official first day at Universal that is when we were going to stay at the resort those next two days look at my cheeks are getting so red um and that is what gave us the express pass because it's a premium resort and that basically means our premier resort and that basically means that you're like staying at the top three um, highest resorts for Universal so you get all these benefits and one of them is the ex unlimited express pass for how many days you're staying and early admission which means you get to you get to skip like the parking garage because you're on site obviously and you get to enter the theme park an hour early which is amazing especially for those who want to take pictures and whatnot so we got up at like 7 a.m um my boyfriend was sleep deprived he literally only slept like eight hours because he drove the whole way and we barely got any sleep that night before because we were with our friends and we were just hanging out all night we woke up at 7 a.m and my boyfriend was not having it like he did not want to get up which he already told us that was going to happen and I knew that was going to happen so I was fine with it. I was a little disappointed but what can you do when one person doesn't want to get up at 7am to go to admissions you just got to respect that. So anyway I could not check in to the premier hotel until 6am anyway so I got up early and went to go get our express passes and basically they are our room keys. So this is basically what our room keys look like and it's the this is your room key for the hotel and it's also your ticket for the theme park to um, surpass into the express lane for every single ride except two ride which is amazing. So I will forever be doing that. Aside from this story that I'm telling oh my gosh there's literally so many different directions. Aside from this story that I'm telling you guys I will forever stay at a premier hotel and I get the hype. So anyways, so he picked those up, got Starbucks and got back to the other hotel to pick my boyfriend up and he was still passed out. So it's already like tw almost 12 and I was like, okay, let's go. I'm like, so finally I got them to go. We literally arrived at the theme park at about 1230ish and we sprinted. I mean sprinted. When I go to the theme park, I literally want to go on every single ride without stopping and I tend to get tunnel vision and forget that there's other people with me. So we had to keep taking breaks because everyone needed water and whatnot but me with my adrenaline going I wanted to go 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 so my boyfriend had to snap me back to reality a few times about we need to calm down go slow we have express passes so we really don't need to be rushing so <laughs> that helped a lot having someone to tell me to chill out because we really didn't need a rush you know anyways so we went through island of adventure and we rode you think i would know the map by now since i've been here four times but i really don't 
Okay, so we went through Islands of Adventure and we went through the Port of Entry. We walked through Dr. Seuss. We walked through the Lost Continent and we went straight to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which is Hogsmeade. So that's what we went and did first. We got Butterbeer, um, which is so good. The first one we got was Frozen and I loved it so much. And so then um, Hagrid's Ride, that's where Hagrid's is. It was, it was a 50 minute wait, I believe. 50 minute wait and so we got in line. Hagrid's ride does not have express lane because it's such a new ride that that's what they're doing. So we waited, we waited about 40 minutes I would say and it was really nice to actually be in that lane because last year, well in the beginning of the year when I went in March with my sister and her band, we literally waited about almost an hour and a half. So this time it was really fun because it was such a short wait time. So we went through the whole cave and everything and it was really nice. Such a fun ride. I forgot about that drop and it's really fun. So 10 out of 10, loved it. So then after Hagrid's, we, where did we go? Uh, my friends were feeling sick at it, waiting for the Hagrid's ride. So we were kind of nervous because they wanted to leave, but we really couldn't because we were literally right there in line. So we went through that ride. We did Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, which was so fun. After that ride, we went to go find water and food because they were not feeling it. They were just very motion sickness which I understood because I literally have it my whole life so then we got food and water at the where did we get it we got it at some Jurassic um, place it was like something burger the burger digs that's where we went we got it at the burger digs we got like um, chili cheese fries and Gatorade and I got a beer which was so good I haven't had beer in so long so then we went on the Hogwarts Express to go to London which is in Universal Studio because that's all we wanted to do on that side of the park for now so going to Universal Studios this is where the fun part begins you guys so then we landed at London and I had them look for the way to get into Diagon Alley which they knew because they are Harry Potter fans as well which is really nice because when I went there the first time ever I did not know how to get in there so we went through there and it was so awesome seeing seeing the Weasley Brothers prank shop which is amazing it's my favorite shop to go through so then we walked through that I got another butterbeer we took our pictures in front of the castle and then we rode what did we ride we were getting in line for Harry Potter and Escape from Gringotts and they were not feeling it as well so literally ran out of the queue so we chased after them because we were like oh no if you're gonna leave we're gonna leave also um we waited for them to get out of the bathroom because her boyfriend was sick and so we went to go sit on the steps by Gringotts I went to get butterbeer ice cream while they were sitting there like drinking water trying to get better so that was going on and then we decided to leave the park at that point because he was feeling well at all and it, by this time it was already like four o'clock um our longest wait was on express honestly which is always such a long wait i don't know why even in the express lane everything else for express was pretty much walk on this whole day and the next day so that was awesome but hogwarts express such a long time so we decided to go back to our hotel which is lowe's royal pacific hotel and so we were like that's it for the end of the day we don't really want to come back i know they closed at like eight and we by the time we walked back on the path to the hotel, it was about 5, 5.30. And I was just like, I really want to go back, but there's only three hours left. So I'll just wait till tomorrow, the next day, because we still have a full day that we get to do. So I was just like, yeah, we'll just relax. So we went into our hotel room. Um, They were relaxing. My boyfriend passed out. I went to go get sushi for dinner because downstairs in the lobby, they have a sushi restaurant slash bar lounge. It was so good. So I brought the sushi back up and I was feeding my boyfriend sushi. He was like half asleep eating it. And he was like, this is so good. Like it was so funny. And then her boyfriend came out of the shower and he was getting ready to get his clothes, like grabbing his clothes to go walk to the bathroom to change. And you guys, he had a seizure, like full blown seizure my boyfriend woke up right away it was really scary because like he was talking to us he's like said a joke and then he like froze up and 
I can't get that picture out of my head. Like he had a seizure, he was in the midst of it and I was freaking out. I was like, are you joking? Are you joking? But we realized he was not joking. So my friend, she literally got her towel, ran out of the hallway and was screaming in the hallway like, help, help, someone, someone call 911, help, we need help. And I am over here on the phone dialing 911 and it is go it's just going, um, it's on the busy line. It was like beep, beep, beep. I called 911 twice because my phone wasn't connecting to the internet at the hotel anyway so I decided to use the hotel room phone and it was just not going and then two other people came out from their hotel room and was calling 911 and it was so busy and it was just a hot mess meanwhile my boy my boyfriend was dealing with him that was having a seizure flipped him on his side and was like trying to get him to remain to gain consciousness and it was just very scary like he was turning blue he was coughing up blood like we literally thought he was going to but it turns out he just bit his tongue which is why there was blood thank god because it was such a scary moment i just it was such a scary time i was crying i was screaming because we couldn't get a hold of, of the paramedics we couldn't get a hold of anybody finally after our neighbors um were able to get a hold of the front desk and 911 um, the front desk called me and they told me they would call 911, but I was like, what? I don't know what happened. Like, I was a jumbling mess. Meanwhile, his girlfriend was in the hallway screaming and crying because of him going on while my boyfriend was trying to bring him back to life and it was just not okay. But the, finally, the EMTs finally came and put him on a stretcher and took him to the hospital. And so they told us that we didn't have to go in tonight because it would be a while before he would even get a room. So we went to sleep and then at six o'clock in the morning he called her and we dropped her off at the, ho at the hospital and we literally spent that next day at the hospital with, uh, with them. It was just, it was just so traumatizing and I just, I, I don't know how we made it. So that's why I don't have much footage of day one and day two of Universal because after that everything was just a jumbled mess and we have just been living off of adrenaline at this point of excitement and traumatized uh, and traumatic events at the same time. It was just a hot mess. So then after spending the second full day in the hospital with them, um, we decided that the next day we would go and spend our second day at the theme park so me and my boyfriend could get our money's worth at least. Tickets that I bought for everyone. So that's what we did. We, we were like, are you guys fine with it? They were fine with it because they, they were not able to leave the hospital for another like four days. So they were like, yes, go ahead. Go get your money's worth. We're fine here, blah, blah, blah. So we did that. And then that was our day two at Universal. My boyfriend and I rode all the rides that we missed the first day. So we did the King Kong ride. We did Escape, Harry Potter Escape from Gringotts. We did um, Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. I hate that ride and I will never go back on that again. That was such a horrible ride. We went on Revenge of the Mummy. I liked it, but it was just pitch black the whole ride and it was literally only like a 20 second ride. So I don't think I would ever go back on that again either, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, so then we went on, we went back on to the Hogwarts Express so we could go back to Hogsmeade. And then I did a bunch of shopping, as you could tell by my video before this, where I show you everything I got from Universal. And then we finished off at Universal Studios where we rode Spider-Man the Hulk, King Kong, and that was our second day at Universal. After <laughs> riding the Hulk, we were like, oh my God, we're so sick. We're, we have motion sickness from riding these rides two days in a row. Like, it was crazy. Now I know why people say try to go to Universal Studios in two to three days or like two to four days because you do get sick, oh my gosh. Anyways, and then our third day, I wanted to go to City Walk and just look around a little bit more why not so then we went to the chocolate to some chocolate factory which was really good i've been wanting to go there for a few years but we never have so we went in there we looked at all the delicious fudge and macaroons we picked up 12 macaroons and i also picked up the harry potter cauldron cake it was so good i forgot to tell you that so um we did that and we had like the chocolate covered bacon so good and a chocolate covered marshmallow that was I had like graham cracker. It was like a whole s'mores and it was really good as well. So next time I wanna go eat there and try their milkshakes, but that's what we did for the third day. 
and then I went into one of the Universal stores at City Walk and bought my sweater and another keychain. So that was all three days at Universal. And then the fourth day we spent in the hospital again with our friends. And the fifth day we decided that we were just gonna head home anyway because I was supposed to be at work one of the days, but I totally forgot. So we were just like, we have to go. We gotta go home. I already missed a day of work. We headed home on Saturday, got home Sunday morning. Sunday morning at like 4 a.m. Like we had to drive through a blizzard. Michigan had a winter advisory. We had a whole blizzard. I don't even know. Like we had five inches of snow that day on our way back. I was so upset. Like anything else? Is there anything else that's going to hit us? Yes, we had a freaking blizzard. So we had to go pick up our dogs from my boyfriend's mom's house, which was three hours away from our house. So we literally got to Michigan, had to go east, and then we had to go three hours west. Picked up the dogs, drove home in the blizzard going 30 miles per hour for the longest time. It took me four and a half hours to get home because of the blizzard. Honestly, the roads got so much better once I got, when I was like an hour away from our house, but I was still going about 30 um, miles per hour, so because they were really icy. And we finally got home at like 4 a.m. and it was great. We had a whole day to relax and recoup. Literally, I have not been feeling the same ever since. It's just been a hot mess. And yeah, that is why I have not been uploading my videos on time of all the traumatic events. I just had to delete literally all my clips so I could finish this video out. Okay, so, okay. So after we got home, we spent the next few days just trying to recoup and then it was the day before thanksgiving and i had to go home for a dentist appointment so i did that we had a thanksgiving on that day and then i had to come home on thanksgiving day so i could work that weekend and it's just been a hot mess like it's been non-stop um so i've really been doing nothing the last two days i've been off work just because i could not relax or anything to like reset our batteries reset everything and just not talk to people <laughs> So that's what's been happening. Overall, the experience was very memorable. Will it stop me from going to Universal again? No. Will I probably go next year? Yes. But <laughs> I'm going to make sure everyone that I go with is in a healthy mood, healthy mindset. I'm going to make sure like we are all literally taking antibiotics like a week before the trip because I can't be having that again. I think I'm just going to use this experience as trying out all the premier hotels that Universal has. So that was my experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this chaotic journey with me because <laughs> we survived. It's It's been rough. Anyways, I can't believe I'm back on track. It's also December. So happy December, you guys. I can't believe it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Send a little prayer my way because I sure need it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.